Well, hey guys, back at you again with another video, and I know it's been a while since I've actually made a video, um, and this is going to be another movie review, and this is for um, a scary movie for Halloween, and that is The Others. Now, The Others, um, I got this uh, from a family member that was getting rid of a whole bunch of movies, and this happened to be uh, one of them, and I hadn't seen it before until about a couple months ago, and uh, I watched it. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So basically the plot is basically this married woman named Grace who's waiting for her husband to return from the war. And she has their two children with her on this uh, mansion on an island. And um, all of a sudden, you know, three uh, creepy people that are servants come out of the blue. And what ends up happening is that weird things start happening around the house. And... They're trying to figure out what's going on, and the mom, Grace, you know, basically tries to uh, um, protect herself and her kids, and that's basically the whole premise of the movie. And uh, this is a good release by Dimension Collector Series. Um, it has, like, a bigger case. Um, you might have seen uh, cases like this before in the past. They don't really make them anymore. Well, actually, they don't make them at all, really. But The Crow, the original, had, like, the same sort of, you know, case as this. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to get this open without breaking it. Um, so, yeah, here's, like, the disc that has the movie on it. And the uh, bonus disc is basically just, like, extra features and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And uh, the movie is with uh, Nicole Kidman as Grace the Mother, and uh, she is really great. Um, she's a good actress. She was great in this movie. Um, this was during the period of when she was with uh, Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise is a, was, is a producer for this movie. He's one of the producers. And also, um, you know, the Weaselsteins, uh, Bob and Harvey, uh, I call them Weaselsteins because, you know, of the stuff with Harvey Weinstein and everything. He's a terrible, terrible person. And I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, Tom Cruise. I know people love him. I don't really think he's all that great, as a lot of people claim from debate. That's just me. If you like him, cool, but I personally could care less about him. Um, I like him. I, li I liked him in uh, a lot of movies, but there's just, you know, a lot of things that I don't like about him as a person. And, you know, I just think he's told too full of himself, but, um, the movie itself is, uh, very good, it's, uh, a, a very, uh, uh, thrilling, scary, um, not gory, because it's PG-13, but it's still, you know, like a very, you know, freaky movie, and the two kids, um, uh, right there, the two kids, uh, I thought they did a pretty good job, too, and the three servants that come in there, um, they were very weird and creepy, and, like, you can tell something, like, you can tell right off the bat that there's something very off about them, and that they're very weird and creepy, always lurking around and everything, um, and I think that the pacing of this movie is good, too, I mean, it's an hour and 44 minutes, 104 minutes, so, um, I think it went at a good pace, um, I think uh, Nicole Kidman and the two kid actors had uh, very good chemistry together and how that um, it shows that she really cares about herself and her family and wants to keep her children and herself protected from harm's way and that's very nice and I also like the look of the film like the look of the film is uh, very nice like the the setting of where it's at like in the mansion and here's the Here's the mansion right there. I thought that the mansion looked pretty cool, and and uh, like where they are is like very like an isolated area, so a lot of weird stuff, you know, is likely gonna happen in an isolated, you know, area that they live in, and you know, this is uh, one of the movies that Scary Movie Three spoofed because. If you remember the scene when Charlie Sheen walks into his daughter's room and he says, where is my daughter? Um, that scene um, is in this movie. And when she's thinking that she's uh, talking to someone else and she's saying to the person that she thinks 
is not her daughter. Like, where is my daughter? And that's uh, where that um, scene that they took from from uh, Scary Movie Three basically spooked it, which I thought that was funny. And um, uh, that scene in here is uh, is pretty intense, and it has a lot of um, great, you know, uh, jumpy sequences and. You know, it's a very intense, and there's definitely, like, a lot of weird stuff going on that, like, you might, you know, not really quite understand or or say, like, how the hell did that happen or something. Um, I like movies like that. It's just a movie, so I don't really, like, critique it as much if it's a lot of weird stuff that probably doesn't make sense, because, I mean, it's a scary movie. It's not really supposed to make sense, if that makes sense. Um, and... There's a lot of shocks and surprises. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to give it away because I don't like to spoil movies. Um, I mean, I've done do, I have done you know spoiler reviews before on the channel, but I don't really do them very often because I don't really like to go in depth unless if it's something that I really really want to talk about. But the director um, Alejandro. Um, Eminabar, I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's like, uh, I think it's Spanish, I think. Um, if I butchered the name, I apologize. Um, but you have other good actors in here. Um, Fionnula Flanagan, uh, I think that's how you pronounce that. And again, if I get the name wrong, I apologize. Uh, Christopher, um, Eccleston. Or something. I think it's how you pronounce it. Uh, Exelson, I think. Um, Elaine Cassidy, Eric Sykes, uh, Alicana Man, um, James Bentley, Renee Asherson. Um, yeah, the only person that I really recognized was Nicole Kidman. Uh, but everybody else, like, despite not being really familiar with them, uh, they all did a pretty good job uh, in this movie, regardless of not, you know, really knowing them. And it got a lot of good reviews from, uh, you know, uh, media uh, surfaces um, like uh, ABC Radio, Los Angeles Times, um, New York Observer, Rolling Stone, um, Sizzles with suspense, shocks, and surprises, says ABC Radio. Nicole Kidman is pitch perfect from Los Angeles Times, which is very true because she nails this movie. Um, and New York Observer says suspenseful, which is true. And then Rolling Stone says a wicked twist of an ending. And that is true of the ending. I did not see that ending coming, but interesting ending. Um... And yeah, uh, Dimension Film, uh, they make some good uh, horror movies, you know, um, and they did a pretty good job with uh, releasing this, and it's a good one to watch um, around uh, spooky season, and if you're looking for something that's like not gory, but scary, but at the same time you can still watch it, like if you have like um, kids that are teenagers and you want to watch them um, spooky movies with them. This one is definitely worth, uh, checking out. You can pick it up. I'm not sure, um, if this edition is still in print or anything. It might be, it might not. I'm not sure. Um, uh, I'm not sure if there's even a Blu-ray release. There might be, but let me know if there is. Um, that'd be cool, because I'd like to pick it up on Blu-ray someday. Um, and yeah, like, the music worked very well, um, and... It definitely is one of those uh, edge of your seats uh, thrillers, and um, you know I'm just glad that I came across this movie because uh, I'd never seen it before, and I I definitely want to watch it again someday, and um, I'll just uh, look forward to revisiting it again and uh, you know have some you know fun while watching it again because I had a great time you know watching this movie. So, if you guys have seen the others, let me know in the comments below if you guys seen it. Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? Whatever it is, let me know. And uh, stay tuned for more reviews of doing um, horror movie reviews. Uh, or something not necessarily horror, but like something like Halloween themed. Um, stay tuned and I'll definitely do some more reviews. Uh, I know I haven't been doing very much lately because I... Uh, 
have been busy with work and everything, but um, I'll get around to do them as soon as I can, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.